This is the man from Modesto. As most of you have already realized, there is an enemy which is growing in power. For decades, for more than a century, they have been pushing themselves and elevating each other into positions of power and influence. They have been establishing law and doctrine in order to brainwash, indoctrinate, inculcate the minds of our young people with wrong thoughts, with thoughts to reject what is right, with thoughts to reject what is moral. And further, at this time, it is easy to see for anyone who is looking to see what they are doing, that they are working diligently to create division amongst groups of Americans. At the same time, I have noticed in many places men mentioning this phrase, before a nation can fall, it must be divided within. A nation is destroyed from within. Things like this, phrases like this. It's a phrase that happens at the end of the movie, The Fall of the Roman Empire. People, we must preserve our unity. We must preserve our integrity. We must preserve our morality. Remember, do not kill your brother. We are brethren. We are fellow Americans. This nation was divided in a civil war over issues that it is unclear what the truth is. But today we see what the truth is. They are trying to separate us based on black and white. They are trying to separate us based on Democrat or Republican. They are trying to separate us based on rich or poor. They are trying the hardest of all to separate us based on Christian or not Christian, homosexual tolerant or homosexual not tolerant. But really, it's very few people who are pushing these ideas. And the rest of us just seem to be letting ourselves get riled up. They are running wild with wickedness and telling us all about it. Why? to infuriate us, to rise us up, and then they blame certain groups on it. But these Satanists have a rule. These Satano-Socialists have a rule. Never do the work yourself. Move someone else to do it. That two factions will fight, and you will stand aside and observe the whole thing. We must speak loudly, and more than this, we must take up the banner that no Christian, that no righteous person ever wants to pick up and it's the burden of prayer. Each of us must be going into the prayer closet and seeking the will of the Lord and understanding the authority and the power that God gave to us. We are called the Ecclesia, which is the Greek word for the governing body, not just a mass of people who worship God. Jesus said, you are my Ecclesia. To you, I give the power to bind and to loose. Because Peter obeyed God, he said, This heart, this is the rock upon which I will build my kingdom, upon the heart of the one who will obey God. And God said, Pray for your enemies. Have unity. These are the things we must do. Those who hate us, we must pray for them. And we need to get into prayer now, regularly. I'm talking about making a firm New Year's commitment. A regular commitment to pray an hour a day, five days a week, all day Saturday morning, all, all Saturday morning. Make some kind of a commitment in your life, a permanent lifestyle change, one that you can manage. This is the man from Modesto reminding you as always, and listen carefully to my always close, pray or be defeated.